If you're unsure whether to change um, the coolant on your car, whether it's uh, ready for a change, I'm going to show you three very simple quick tests which are pretty much guaranteed to um, confirm whether your coolant um, is past its best. I'm going to be using, these are all cheap, these are cheap, very cheap tests. I'm going to be using this Gunson um, antifreeze and coolant tester. This costs about four pounds from eBay. Dead simple. You just use it like a, you know, a pipette or turkey baster to take a sample of the coolant, and then it will tell you the uh, protection level. The second test, whilst the coolant's in there, you'll be able to do. It'll be a, a basic visual test to uh, look for any debris, see how clean and clear the coolant is. And then uh, the final test will be using a multimeter and it will just be um, a, a voltage test uh, with the engine running um, to see, to test the coolant's anti-corrosion properties. So I'll crack on with those tests now. Okay, so I'm going to take a sample. So press in the ball in, get it nice and low. inside the coolant and let it go. Make sure you've got enough in there. Okay, so what we have here, there's a fill level indicator just on, just there by my thumb. So you've got to make sure you've got that much coolant in there and there's a little arrow which will tell you that there is enough in there. And then obviously have a good look at the coolant then it looks pretty clean to me that pretty clean free of any debris no little flakes of rust or anything knocking around in there so that's a good sign and then in terms of the um, freezing protection it's got the indicator is coming up just just below minus 29 now really with a fresh 50-50 mix of coolant this indicator would be right there I say up there it's actually down there in terms of temperature you're looking really on fresh coolant to be around about minus 37 but it's nice and clean and clear and like I say freeze protection up to minus 29 so that's lower than any temperature my coolant's going to encounter so that's the first two tests um, looking pretty good uh, but the coolant has been in in the tank or in the car for a while over 10 years and although it's long life coolant um, I'm just going to do a voltage test just to see where we're at and whether it's um, rust inhibitors are still working as you would expect before I do the voltage test I'll just show you with this water uh, this is just clean clean water what happens if you are running your car on water so I've put the sample in there and as you can see now there's no freeze protection and um, the uh, the dials in in this tester they react with the uh, strength of the ethylene glycol in coolant um, so the weaker your coolant mix the, uh, the less um, protection you're going to be having and of course the less anti-rust properties you're going to have in there. So that's just to show you that it's not just a float that will just go up at any time. If you actually have a weak mix the dial indicator will be much much lower down. Okay so for the second, well the third and final test I've got the engine running and we've got the multimeter uh, set up on volts, red in the volts, black in the comm socket. I've got it on DC volts but right at the low setting here so we're on 200 millivolts sorry 2000 millivolts and the um, what we're looking for is uh, when I test the coolant looking for a figure really of less than 250 millivolts so if for example I get the multimeter leads and put them on a couple of earth connections so I've got these wing earth connections here getting some millivolts 
knocking around on there but then once I earth it with the other one see how it goes back down to zero showing we've got a good earth connection obviously you don't want any voltage running through your earth connections so if I leave the, the red lead on a good earth connection and then put it in the coolant I'm looking for less than 200 millivolts so I've put it in and there we go so even though the coolant has got very good freezing protection still down to minus 27 and even though it's clean and clear the rust inhibitors in it are obviously not working that great now because the coolant itself is actually carrying a charge carrying an electrical charge of what was that then 400 millivolts 500 millivolts that's half a volt in the coolant which is uh, something that you don't want and like I say if I then just put this back onto an earth connection you can see the multimeter then goes back down to zero so just that simple test that lets you know what the rust inhibitors are doing there you go we're up to 800 millivolts there so 0 0.8 of a volt in the coolant so that says to me that even though the coolant's passed its basic test of whether it will not freeze and because of the strength because it doesn't freeze it will also stay stable over 100 degrees so that's good and it's clean and clear but that final voltage test it's failed I would say quite miserably really so I'm going to change the coolant on this car and then I'll show you the test again afterwards and what the difference is like with fresh coolant so with those three very simple quick tests and cheap as well um, you should be well on your way to working out whether you need to change the coolant or not I hope you find that useful and thanks for watching